So I'm outside Wrigley Field. It is August 12th, Thursday. I'm about to go inside and uh, basically the Cubs are looking to avoid a winless home stretch um, as they are an absolute shell of their former selves. Um, yeah, Bryant gone, Rizzo gone, Baez gone, many others gone. Uh, half the lineup you wouldn't recognize and um, it's been pretty bad. They have, I think, 10 wins since they law, uh, since they were in Los Angeles and they had that combined no-hitter. And we're just kind of here to see how the mighty have fallen. Um, I understand it's a rebuild, and I understand that it's probably the right thing to do. Uh, we could talk all day about what happened and why they needed to be here. You want to blame ownership. You want to blame the front office. You want to blame the players. Really, it goes all around. They haven't developed, they haven't spent, they haven't performed. It's it's a team effort, but regardless of all that, we're gonna see what it looks just like. Just walking through the concourse right now, and I'm just looking at all the shirts. Uh, you know, I know we're used to Cubs fans going to Milwaukee and kind of taking over, and I'm not saying it's a takeover by any means, but of the people who actually are here, there is a ton of Brewer stuff here, and I mean, could you blame Brewers fans? They're well in first place. They're going to win the division. They have a great shot at a World Series. And it's like an hour and a half drive from Milwaukee to Chicago. So, yeah, kind of shows where we are. this is where that big sports book's gonna go so hopefully when the Cubs are good again and there's actually people out here it's gonna be a tight squeeze Patrick, If I can do it to their credit. You know, one good thing 
about rebuilding games like this is that the lines of the concession stands are not nearly as long, so a uh, snack and a drink is much easier to get. So, silver linings, I guess. I'm really not one to go walking around during games just because I don't like to miss any of the action, but, you know, we're at the point in this game and this season where sometimes you just got to go and walk around and, you know, you're not really missing much, so... You know, that's kind of where we're at right now. And, you know, taking a nice walk around the sky deck. There's a nice wind here. Um, kind of nice, not gonna lie. Should have been out a few batters ago. David Ross let him in. His ERA is now over four. Wow. Wow. is but uh, he's got three strikeouts in one and two thirds innings so far he's given up one hit and make that two and that's probably a run well no it's in the ivy well I should stop talking make it 11 to 1 now game people leave like after the seventh inning stretch but people are already clearing out we're in the top of the six but to be fair we're in the top of the six this game started at 120 it's already four o'clock i mean this game is taking forever We just sang the stretch. We are down 16 to 1. Um, I don't really know what else to say at this point. I hope this rebuild works. I understand that this is a rebuilding team, but yeah, this is uh, this is as bad as it gets. A home run by Anthony Rizzo. I mean Frank Swindell. Right? No doubt. Take what you can get. It's only 16 to 2 now. Back to back, baby! Patrick Wisdom leading rookies and home runs. So I'm being reminded that it was three years ago today when David Bowie hit that epic walk-off grand slam. You know, back when the Cubs were in pennant races, good times, good times. Hit it right over there on that batter side. I don't think we're going to see that kind of rally today. It is the ninth inning. 
most people are gone, but I'm still here. I don't know why. And now we got a position pitcher. Austin Omai coming in the pitch. It's a ground ball for the first down. I was kind of hoping we'd see this today. We're going to suffer through this whole thing. Might as well watch Very position good. player pitch. Luis Unidas. Seventy six. Not bad for a position player, I guess. Ho ho. Seventy nine. today folks for the video look at that final score yeah great right I still cannot believe how far that this team has fallen and let's just hope the future is better